The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. To make a stylized procedural eye material, we first need an eye. So delete the cube and add a UV sphere. Using the R key and the X key, rotate the sphere around the X axis 90 degrees. Using F2, you can rename the sphere. In edit mode, use the C key to access the circle select tool. Using the scroll wheel, change the size of the circle of influence. Left click to select those faces and right click to close the circle select tool. In X-ray mode and side view, use the G and Y keys to move these faces back along the Y axis. Back in solid mode and front view, go into edge select mode with two. Select the outer edges of the rings of faces you just moved by using shift, alt, left click. Using control B, add a small bevel to help smooth those edges. In object mode, right click on the eye and choose shade smooth. Under the object data properties tab, under the normals panel, activate auto smooth. For the cornea, add a second UV sphere and rotate it around the X axis 90 degrees. Go ahead and hide the eye. In edit mode, delete everything except for the four inner rings of faces. Right click on the cornea and shade it smooth. And remember to activate auto smooth. Unhide the eye using Alt H and hide the cornea with the H key. Now it's time for the material. Split the viewport and open the shader editor. Change to Material Preview Mode so you can see the material on the eye. Select the eye and add a material, renaming it. We'll leave the base color white. Change the Specular and Specular Tint to 1 and the Roughness to around 0.2. For the Pupil and Face Select Mode, Shortcut key is 3. Using the circle select, select the pupil. Make a new material and assign this new material to the selected faces. Change the base color to an almost black color. Change the specular, specular tint, and roughness to zero. For the iris, in face select mode, use shift alt left click to select the faces associated with the iris. Make a new material and assign this new material to the selected faces.
change the base color to your chosen color. Change the specular, specular tint and roughness to zero. Unhide the cornea using Alt-H. Make a new material for the cornea. Delete the principal shader and add a glass shader. For EV under the Materials Property tab, under the Settings panel, activate Screen Space Refraction. Under the Render Properties tab, activate the Screen Space Reflections. Then twirl open this panel and activate refraction. For cycles, under the material properties tab, under the viewport display panel, under the settings option, Activate Screen Space Refraction.